Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan and thanks for joining us for our Wednesday update recorded on August the 14th. We've got warmer, windier weather about to move on through, but by Monday of next week we could be seeing a brief, short-lived Antarctic blast. It's not 100% locked in, but it is starting to show up in not only the computer modelling we show you here, but also your local forecasts if you're in the lower South Island in particular. So let's try and make sense of it all for you. We're kicking off with the air pressure and wind flow map. The brighter shading means that's high pressure, darker shading, low pressure. So a big southerly flow here, uh, southwesterlies for the Chatham Islands, a fading southerly for the eastern side of the North Island where it's still a little bit cooler today. Elsewhere though, building westerlies, whether they're southwesters, westerlies or northwesterlies, that westerly quarter wind is going to pick up as the middle of that high crosses over the top of New Zealand over the next day or so. Temperature wise, here we are at lunchtime today, Wednesday, uh, with the departure from normal. In other words, in the middle of the day today, how much warmer or cooler is it compared to usual? And as you can see, most of the country is warmer than average, except for the eastern side of the North Island. Those temperatures are a little bit below average as that southerly fades away. Let's now animate the next 48 hours through till lunchtime on Friday, and you're gonna see that blue just disappear as those subtropical winds, the westerly winds, the gales all start to arrive. New Zealand basically warms up over the next few days ahead to two, three, four degrees or more above average for this time of the year. So let's make sense of what is going on. Here we are at lunchtime Thursday, the high tracking past Northland and Auckland and Coromandel Peninsula. It is driving down this airflow from around Tonga, Fiji, New Caledonia and Vanuatu right down and into the lower part of the South Island and then up the South Island to the lower part of the North Island. That's the reason why it's a bit warmer, but also of course the windy westerlies are, are usually a bit warmer as well. So temperatures do jump up on Thursday, especially down the country to the eastern side. Rain around Fiordland spills over around South Westland and into parts of Stewart Island, maybe into Southland as well later on, and just a little bit of patchy rain further to the north by nighttime. Also a couple of showers lingering around the western side of the North Island. On Friday, a few more showers along the upper and western sides of the North Island. Um, Subtropical winds coming down across the north. It won't be cold uh, on Friday morning. Pretty much no frosts around by the time we get to Friday morning. Although there is a bit of a cooler southerly with a few showers coming into the south there and a little patch of rain that's falling apart, or at least trying to, uh, around the northwestern corner or really sort of the upper side of the west coast, if you like, on Friday. So the weekend is going downhill. It is a messy weekend. The forecasts that you have locally may still chop and change a little bit. We've got the warm subtropical airflow still coming down, although it's moving further to the east, but it is just clipping some parts, especially on Saturday morning. Low pressure now forms in the Tasman. That drives in windier nor'westers and some rain potentially coming into uh, Tasman, Nelson, Marlborough areas as we go through into Saturday, then dry for most other areas. But perhaps it's Sunday going into Monday where things get a lot more interesting. This is all low pressure you see on the map. Now there are one, two, three or four centers to it and that's going to sort of get better organized. What that means is it looks as though as we go into Monday, it will start to focus on one area of low pressure down in the Southern Ocean. So between the high to the Northeast and the lows down here, Classic squash zone, windy weather coming through here on Sunday. Windiest in the eastern side of New Zealand and for, in Wellington for a time as well. And then as we get into the afternoon, that's the wintry southerly from Southland over to Tasmania. These lines here, they're coming from Antarctica, from the ice shelf or from you know the ice around uh, surrounding the edges of Antarctica. Either way, it is looking pretty cold going into Monday. Regardless of what time of the year it is, 9.28 is very low air pressure, way lower than what we saw with Cyclone Gabriel. That got, to, got down to about 9.65, 9.64 around there. This is 9.28. Well south of us, higher air pressure up to the north, but that's the reason why it is windier. And also, this is the lower the air pressure goes, and the more that low pressure zone gets dragged down like that, along with high pressure over here, that encourages this wintry southerly from off the ice shelves. Now this is not locked in this far out. It only takes that high to move around a little bit, that low to change shape a wee bit, and suddenly it's not there. 
But at this stage, it is not only showing up in our computer modeling, but also your local forecasts. Snow possible in Gore and Queenstown, maybe on the hills around Dunedin. So we've got a few more days to lock this in. But for now, Monday does look pretty wintry. But look at Tuesday. This is why this is, may, not, you know, may not be quite as major as it could be, because if we see this high quickly coming in with this shape on Tuesday, suddenly the airflow around New Zealand, despite it being cold, is actually coming out from Australia. So very short-lived, and so that's why we can't lock it in. But you're seeing it in your local forecasts, you're seeing it in the long-range weather maps, so we have to talk about it, and that's what we've done here. So for now, yep, Monday does look wintry, pretty cold stuff for the South Island, and then it goes into the uh, North Island here, could be a few snow flurries on Tuesday around Central Plateau. Otherwise, hopefully that event is short-lived. I say hopefully for the newborn livestock. If you're a skier or a boarder, on the other hand, you want it to linger a bit longer. That is all from me. We'll have more details about all of that in our next update tomorrow, Thursday. We'll see you then.